guys. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm a little bit nervous just because I've never done this. So let me make sure that this is... It's just in my camera on top of that. Like my phone. Like, like you guys have never seen that before. This is what's going on right now. Hey princess XOXO. Hello. How's it going guys? So today, I wanted to just to hang out with you guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Wyatt's out. He's at an Astros game. And I was like, thanks for the amazing last video, Gloria. Gloria is your last girl. That is awesome. Tell Gloria that I sent you. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Sophia Mia Mihak. Melissa. Hey, guys. How are you guys? So, Aureli. Sorry, I need to keep talking. I'm just so excited to see you guys. Hello, hi Jen, how are you? Now Now I'm doing live, usually you're doing live. <laughs> so today I wanted to just um, kind of get ready and answer y'all's questions and just say hi and I feel like this is the best way for us to hang out. Cause usually I'm just filming my videos here but now we can get to hang out so I'm really happy that a lot of you guys are able to make it. And yeah, so what did you guys want me to do? I have a, so this is what I have in mind. I wanted to use a perception palette simply because a it's affordable it's beautiful and i really wanted to use this blue tone so i think that's what i'm going to do today and also um for the face products i wanted to kind of throw it back and do like um do a tutorial with like old products that i used to love so maybe some of you guys that have been watching me for a while then um you guys would kind of know all the products that i'm talking about so i'm gonna start out doing my makeup if you guys have any questions or if you guys just want to chat um go ahead and answer because i feel like i have so much to tell you guys so i'm first gonna go in with the maybelline total temptation hey lauren lauren McHugh. Um, just letting you guys know, she did a video following one of my tutorials, and it was amazing. She's the sweetest, so definitely go show her some love. No one's ever done that. That's so sweet. Um, somebody asked how my birthday was. My birthday was really, really fun. I ended up going to dinner with my family, and honestly, that's all I wanted. I'm not really trying to party it up much anymore. I just really wanted to get together with my family so that's kind of what I did. We went to get some sushi, which is my favorite food. And that's kind of what we did. How is the house building coming? What's up, L Turner? Damn, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do my makeup because I just really want to talk to you guys. Um, the house is going great, actually. Um, next month, we are closing on the house. So there's a lot of videos that I've been wanting to do on my channel, but the reasons why I haven't is because since we're closing on the house next month, I really want to do it in my new house. The cooking videos, I really want to do meal prepping videos because I've been getting into that. I'm actually currently on a specific meal plan and also a specific um, um, workout plan. So what I really wanted to do is show you guys how I meal prep and how I work out. And I really just wanted to do it in my new kitchen. It'll be done next month, so that's why I'm kind of waiting. What kind of ring are you wearing? It looks so pretty. Thank you. This is from David Yerman. Um, it was an anniversary present. Um, so anyways, so that's why, um, but I have really exciting news. Guess what I'm doing in December? I'm doing Vlogmas. So I, if for you guys that don't know, Vlogmas is, um, you know, when you vlog every day of December and show you know, buying like all your gifts and putting up your tree and decorating. I can't do like every single day videos, but what I wanted to do was Vlogmas weekly so I could still show you guys everything that I'm doing, especially with the new house and you know, how to decorate all that stuff. And I wanted to upload a Christmas vlog like once a week for the whole month of December. So I really hope that you guys like that. I know that I don't really do many vlogs, but I definitely want to get more like more personal with you guys. And honestly, I just love watching, like, I love watching Christmas videos. Like, it just, it gets you in such a good mood, right? Guys, I can't even do my makeup because I feel like I just want to answer your questions. Is that bad? Yes to vlogs, love the nails. Thank you. Um, they're really grown out. Princess saying, how do you go about picking your giveaways? 
Okay, the way I do it is there's actually a website. I don't know it off the top of my head, but you could literally just Google um, how to, or pick random comment generator picker YouTube, something like that. And what I do is I put the link, thank you, Tracy. I put the link of the video, of the giveaway video, and I put it in there and it picks a winner randomly. And then from that winner, I make sure, thank you, I got it at Marshall's. Um, thank you, Lollipop. So anyways, from that um, name, I, um, <laughs> I'm like nervous. From that name, I just go to Molly's video and then uh, make sure that you guys commented there, make sure you followed all the rules, and then I pick it. It is completely random. Thank you guys so much for supporting me through all my social medias. I know that you guys wanna win um, the giveaway and I want everyone to win. That's why I'm trying to try. Actually, I have another giveaway coming up and it's something that I've never done before and it's gonna, it's so exciting. You guys are gonna love it. So don't worry, if you don't win, trust me, there's always more giveaways. I'm always gonna do giveaways because I wanna get back to you guys, you know? You guys are the reason why I'm doing what I love. Okay. Karitha, girl, thank you, Tracy. I know, and you stop being nervous. I just, I just want to make sure I answer all your questions. She says, "What camera do you use to film?" I use a. Actually, I can show you guys since I'm not using it. So this is what I use to film. This is a Canon Rebel T6i, and this is not the lens that it comes in. This is the lens that it comes with, and um, this is a great lens. I actually use this lens for like eight months maybe and then I decided just to invest in the better lens which you don't have to but this is the lens it came with and I got this lens which is a Sigma lens it's a 30 millimeter 1.4 and this is what I use and I feel like it just gives you more clarity and it also makes the background a little bit blurrier and you don't need this but this is this is what I use this is what I look at when I'm doing videos for you guys hey Madeline hey baby girl she's saying do you use a mic too I have problems with mics, let me tell you. So I used to have another mic, which is a Rode, and it came, I bought like a whole kit with the Canon and it came with a, like a simple Rode microphone. And I used to use that, but honestly, I would hear a lot of feedback sound. So then I spent like $250 on a nicer Rode mic, which I'm looking at. And honestly, it works well sometimes, but sometimes I film a whole video and I, I don't, the either like, you know, the, the audio is wrong or it sounds really fuzzy or there's so much like background noise. So to be honest, like here's my little dirty secret. Um, I don't use a mic anymore. So I really hope that my audio is fine. I feel like, Emmanuel, hi! Hi, how are you? He, he's recently come on my channel and I love talking to you. Um, anyways. Anyways, I don't use a mic. What's a good foundation to try for dry skin? I was going to do a makeup tutorial, but I feel like I would rather talk to you guys instead. But um, this is a good one. Of course, the L'Oreal Pro Glow. But honestly, guys, I have very dry skin and I was very afraid of using um, like matte foundations. But some foundations aren't really that matte. Like I, you guys know how much I love the CoverGirl True Blend Matte. And I have dry skin and I use it and I think it looks amazing. Takis or Hot Cheetos? Very specifically, I will choose Hot Cheetos over Takis, but they have to be baked. You know how you can get like baked Lay's? I need the baked Hot Cheetos and if it's not baked, then I'll take the Takis. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is black. Where am I from? I am from Mexico City, but I grew up in Houston, Texas. Uh, Lauren says she had the same issue with the road mic. Yeah, it sucks. You don't like hot Cheetos that are baked? Oh, I know. You probably like them more like limey, you know? Okay. I remember the feedback from your microphone. It's better now. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. Now I know that, you know, you, you're a true subscriber, that you've been here. Do you ever visit Austin? I used to because I went to school in Texas State and um, I was really close to Austin. So I um, would sometimes go to like 6th Street or sometimes when my boyfriend and I, thank you, Karina, 
sometimes when my boyfriend and I would want to go to like a nice dinner and get out of St. Marcus, we would go to Austin. But now since I do um, live in Houston, I don't go very often, like at all. Honestly, I don't really like going to big cities very often because traffic and people and no parking really stresses me out. So I don't know, I would rather be in the suburban. Thank you, Jen. Guys, everyone's commenting on my nails, but like they're so grown out. Today I was gonna, hi Gracie. Today I was gonna go um, get them done, come to LA. Jen, I I would love to go to LA. I've been to LA before. Um, let me tell you guys about a trip we took. Um, actually, did I do? So literally the first time I ever uploaded a video, um, like one of my first videos that weekend, Wyatt and I, my boyfriend, we went to California and we took a trip and pretty much we didn't book any hotel rooms. All we did was um, like, rent a car and we just drove we run through um hollywood and um we did um huntington beach santa monica it was so beautiful so i would love to go to la again where do you like shopping for food for food i love I, i'm really bad at always getting cheap clothes because since there are so many nice affordable clothes i always get that but sometimes literally i will buy something and then i will like wear it and then wash it and then i can never wear it again so i do love going to forever 21 i love charlotte ruse and i love agassi and there's an agassi that's huge at the gallery in houston and i love going there especially for like nice outfits anytime i go to vegas or any trips like that i go there i spend like 30 dollars and i buy a dress i see you travel a lot have you ever been to canada i've never been to canada the closest that i've been is New York, so I would love to go to Canada. What time is it now? Here it is 7, 10 p.m. Have you ever been to the Wax Museum in LA? No, I didn't really get to because we were driving so much that we weren't really staying more than one night in one place, but I did go to that other museum that I'm kind of blanking out right now. I forgot what it was called, but it's the one with all the light posts. You know what I'm talking about? I took a picture and then never uploaded it on Instagram, but I went to that museum, which I should really know what it's called, but but I don't. So anyways, coffee or tea? Coffee. Jen, yes, L-A-C-M-A. Oh my God, thank you. Have you ever met any celebrities? Um, um, I've, okay, so this is kind of funny. I was at a party in, um, in Houston area and it was a really, really nice house. And I met Corey from Disney Channel, Corey in the house, the one from That's So Raven. And I also met Michael from um, Zoe 101 and they're actually cousins. And I met them and I think that's the closest. I've oh, oh, and I love EDM music, believe it or not. I like going um, like clubbing sometimes. Not very often, only on like like New Year's or something like that. But I love Steve Aoki and I got to meet Steve Aoki at the club and I give him a hug and it was awesome. Your face is glowing. Thank you. I don't have any makeup on. So many YouTubers right now are live. Oh no. Well, I hope you guys stick around with me. It's my first live. What's your go to matte liquid lipstick? My, it used to be... You guys should know, it used to be um, When Wild Gimme Mocha, but now, let me explain something, guys. Now my go-to is Gerard Cosmetics uh, 1995, and I just wanted to clear something up. I know a lot of you guys know that um, I just became an affiliate with them, but I don't want to like push Gerard Cosmetics on your throat because I'm an affiliate. I genuinely love their stuff, and I recently got a really big package from them so i've gotten to try a lot of their products so i want to like share them with you guys but i also don't want to share them with you guys um too much because i don't want you guys to think that i'm just selling you um just trust me if you like the product get it you don't have to use my code i'm not trying to make money off of you guys they're genuinely awesome products and you guys will realize that once you try it so right now my go-to liquid lipstick is 1995. thank you guys i honestly i feel like I look better with lights. Um, I want to try Gerard Cosmetics. Okay, well my code is just VS. It does get you 30% off if you want it. If you don't, it's totally okay. Um, I've just fallen in love with their brand recently. Are you excited for the Desi and Katie round two collection? Yes, I actually, 
Can you do your makeup? Yes, yeah, sorry, I haven't done my makeup. Okay, I'm gonna just prime. Sorry, I, I, I just wanna answer your questions. Um, I'm really excited. I didn't get anything from the round one um, collection just because I'm, I try not to spend too much money on makeup and I know that sucks but um, because I have a beauty channel. But you know, sometimes the highlight looks insane. Yes, it does. I actually am really excited for um, that eyeshadow palette. I was looking at it at first and I was like, mm, I don't know. By the way, I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi and like look how luminous it is. Um, I was looking at it and I know it's kind of expensive. I know, I honestly, some of these things that I buy, um, I buy them for myself, but I also think I could also make a YouTube video about it, so. Um, L'Oreal Pro Glow. Anyways, I was looking at that palette and I was like, I wasn't that impressed of it at first, but then I was thinking, that's the perfect palette when you wanna do a shimmery, uh, are you going to bed with a full face of makeup? No, I'm not. I'm genuinely just doing my makeup to kind of entertain you guys. I'm not going anywhere, but yeah. I really wanna get that palette. I think I might, and I think I'm gonna wait till it comes out in Ulta in store, so that way I don't have to pay shipping because it is $55. So I'm definitely gonna wait till it comes out in store at Ulta. So, sorry guys, I forgot that I needed to do my makeup, which I just wanted to, I just wanna answer all your questions. Would you make a video on how to do your eyeshadow? Is YouTube, yeah, I mean, if you would like like a specific, I do have a couple videos um, like um, for like beginners. I have a like a smoky eyeshadow look for beginners on my channel. And I really think that you would get um, a lot of, a lot out of that because um, do you use most of the Jacqueline brushes? I do, I love them. So yeah, definitely check out just like YouTube my name and put beginner. And there's a beginner uh, video for how to do eyeshadow and like a smoky eye. Hello, Kari. Oh, how do you make your hair grow that long? Um, I do have a whole video on that. So if you want more details, hey, Jenny, um, you can literally just put VNA strict hair care routine and I tell you guys everything. But to be honest, my biggest secret is that I just don't cut it. I just don't cut it, which honestly, obviously my hair looks very, um, you know, it looks kind of um, unhealthy, but I don't care. I do, like, I do trim it. You can tell, kind of. Ew, don't look at my ends. But I do trim it sometimes. But um, also, when I get my hair done, I don't get the bottom done. I just get highlights at the top. So that way, I don't touch or make the bottom of my ends worse. So, you guys want a clothing haul? I would love to do that. I think that maybe, like, an affordable, maybe, like, a Target or a Walmart, um, like, fall clothing haul would be really nice um room tour I won't have a room tour anytime soon but if you guys want I think I'm gonna do an unfurnished house tour if you guys are interested I would love to do a house tour obviously it's gonna take a while to furnish it so if you guys do want to see like what my new house looks like I would love to do a house tour for you guys but without furniture so let me know if you guys want to do that Going in with the Born This Way concealer. It's so good. I haven't even touched my shape tape. When does the Katie and Desi come to Ulta? I think it comes um, comes out the 30th. I think the whole collection comes out the 24th. And then the 30th, it comes out at Ulta. Um, that's what I think. House tour. Yay. I'm glad you guys are excited. Vlog at your favorite stores. I would love to. I think maybe we could do like a vlog shopping and then do a haul of the clothes. I feel like that would be a really good one. Sorry, I need to focus because there is no way that I'm gonna be able to do my makeup. Is the Born This Way foundation good? It is really good. I just haven't used it in a while. Have you seen the Huda Mini palettes? Yes, those look amazing. Honestly, I haven't really bought a lot from Huda Beauty just because it is kind of pricey, but I have seen those palettes and they look really, really nice. Honestly, I have to say it, okay guys? But the new ABH palette really, really disappointed me. And, I don't, oh, my mom's on the chat. Hi mom, I love you too. What's the most expensive piece of makeup you have? Um, 
definitely something that was sent to me by a company. I haven't, I don't really splurge that much. Is YouTube your job or do you have another job? Um, sometimes I'm a waitress. Right now, I don't have a career yet other than what I'm doing because um, I just graduated in December, so I haven't really found um, like my perfect job yet. So that's what's going on right now. Hi, mom. <laughs> oh, even my aunt. Hola, tia. ¿Cómo estás? My aunt from Mexico is on the chat. Te quiero mucho. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone's saying hi to my mom. Uh, I am 24 years old. I turned 24 like last week. Any info on your lipstick lashes? I'm trying to wait patiently. So let's keep it in the let's keep it in the live chat, okay? A lot of people won't know about this, but um, I am working on something. I'm working on some lashes and some lipsticks and a couple other things. And the only thing I'm going to say is, it is a collaboration. And it is with a brand that I've been loving for a while now. And it's coming out sooner than you think this year. This year. So get excited, guys. I don't want to say too much because, you know, I, I want to keep it private until, like, it comes out. But it's coming out this year. And I really hope that you guys love it. Do you speak Spanish? Yes, I am fluent in Spanish. Um, Spanish is actually my first language. So I learned how to speak English. Thank you, Jen. I'm so excited. I just, what the most thing I'm excited about, um, I'm gonna announce the giveaway winners uh, October 1st. The thing I'm most excited about is that, um, that you guys will get to have something that's mine and the fact that I will get to see you wear it. Like, I just feel like that would be like us sharing something. You know what I mean? Like. If you um, get something that's mine and I see you wear something that's mine, I just feel like we have a bond. I'm just really excited. I really hope you guys love it. I'm really trying to make it so that everyone will love it. It's not very, it's not, it's, it's inclusive, obviously. Um, I know it's like just lashes and stuff like that, but I feel like I, I feel like I pick stuff out that like everyone will love. Like you will at least love one thing from the collection. I really hope so, so. Um, are you going to do giveaway on my products? Of course, once um, everything comes out, I will be giving away a lot of it because, of course, I want as many of you guys as possible to try it. So, so I need a contour. I'm going to contour with Wet n Wild. Count me in on being the first one to purchase your collab. Thank you so much. Just notice you don't have eyelash extensions. I don't. Look, guys, these are my real lashes. Um... It was time. It was time to take them off. As much as I love them, um, to be like completely honest, I started working on lashes for you guys, so I didn't think that it would be, you know, smart at all um, to be wearing lash extensions and then come out with lashes that I've never tried before. You know what I mean? So as much as I love those lashes, I was like, this is more important. I want to make sure that these lashes look awesome. So, um, so that's what I did. Have you ever gone to Paris? I have. If you guys haven't seen my, um, my meet my boyfriend, the boyfriend tag, we actually met in Paris. So if you guys want to hear about that story, definitely, um, go watch that video. But yeah, I have gone to Paris. I've done, um, a lot of the whole, like, backpacking Europe type thing and it was absolutely amazing. I wish that I had a channel back in the day so that I that I could have vlogged that because having vlogs is literally the best thing ever because you can always look back at your memories. I have a channel too. You seriously inspired me. Oh, thank you. Everyone go follow her. Thank you so much. Honestly, it's so crazy to think that I've inspired people because you guys inspire me. Other people inspire me. So are you getting ready for anything in particular? No, I'm not going anywhere. I actually already filmed my video for this week. I'm just doing my makeup because um, because I said I would. But I was thinking, next time I do a live, uh, pozole o menudo, pozole, all the way. Next time I do a live, I thought maybe about doing it and actually get ready for something. I thought that that would be fun. I'm going to a Taylor Swift concert next weekend, which um, I'm excited because I want to see Camila Cabello open up. So I don't know if I should do a get ready with me video on my channel or a live get ready with me. 
where is your boyfriend? He's at the Astros game. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm always at an Astros game. Pozole o tamales? Po tamales. Tamales. Oh my god. Make a Snapchat. Um, I do have a Snapchat actually, but um, it's in private just because I think my Snapchat, my Snapchat and my Facebook are the only like social medias that I have that um, are private. And so I've noticed that a lot of you guys have added me on Facebook and I don't want you guys to think that, um, I don't want you guys to think that I'm not trying to add you on my Facebook. The reason why I don't is just because those are the only two things that I have that are um, personal with people that I know personally. And you know, it's just nice to have like my family, you know. But yeah, I, so I was thinking of making a Snapchat for like you guys and I put a poll on my community and a lot of you guys said uh, no. Um, in which I understand, not no, but that you wouldn't really look at it because Snapchat is kind of like over, not overdone, it's like old now. I feel like I post a lot more on Instagram stories, but I would like to have a Snapchat because I feel like that's way more personal and it wouldn't be, um, uh, why it just texted me. I love you too, babe. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like, cause on my Instagram, I have a lot of uh, followers, which are you guys, but I also have people that I know from high school. And sometimes I try not to put like too much makeup and personal things there. But if you guys want me to do a Snapchat, I'd be down. Even if it's just a couple of you guys, I'd be down. Um, if you could make a video with a makeup guru, who would it be? Uh, my favorites right now are definitely, um, Kathleen Lights, I love her, but in Amanda Ensing, I love her too. And this is so random, but I love Gabby DiMartino. I don't know if you guys know Nikki and Gabby. I found her channel so randomly, but I love her fancy vlogs. It's kind of like my guilty pleasure. It's so weird, but it's like my guilty pleasure. I don't know, I just like seeing her fancy life. I, yeah, I love Kathleen. And who else do I really like? Um, I've been watching a lot of smaller YouTubers, mainly because, um, say something in Spanish. <laughs> Hola, hablo español, como están? Um, I've been watching smaller YouTubers just because I can relate to them more and because um, also I become friends with them and it's really nice to have friends in the community. I think you guys are my friends too, obviously, but I love having friends in the community that also have a channel because it's something that like I can relate to and we can help each other out. Hi, Jasmine, how are you, babe? So, Nick's bronzer. Again, I'm going in with the with the old, old stuff that I used to love. Do you watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians? I used to keep up with them a little bit more, but I haven't really watched their new season, which um, I am interested in, but um, I just don't watch a lot of cable anymore. I watch a lot of like Apple TV and Netflix, so I kind of just um, stopped watching. Juicy Jazz is my YouTuber favorita. I love Juicy Jazz too. She's so real. I love her, so real. So, I love her too. Did you watch Bachelor in Paradise? Yes, of course I did, and it was nuts. Like, that was crazy, and guess who I got to watch it with me too? Thank you so much, Mary. Um, I got Wyatt to watch it, and it was amazing, and it was dramatic. And sometimes I kind of like it better than The Bachelor or The Bachelorette just because there's so much going on. I'm going in with this old crusty e.l.f. blush palette that I used to use in the beginning of my videos back in the day. And put that on here. I feel like my makeup's coming out crusty. OMG, what did you think about the Jordan and Jenna drama? I'm upset. I really thought, honestly, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I knew that that girl was trouble, but you know how some people are trouble and then they find the person that changes them? I thought maybe Jordan will be the one that changes her, but it's so crazy because you think that Jordan would be the crazy one, but it was Jenna. I feel bad for him. BNA, I've been squad riding since the beginning. You inspired me to start my own channel. That is awesome. Thank you for letting me know because other people inspire me and it's just a good feeling. So thank you and good for you. Have you watched any Netflix shows? So um, you guys know if you guys watch my favorites videos that I was watching a lot of Queen of the South. 
I finished it, and guess what I started watching? Um, I started <laughs> Medica Brim Plus. <laughs> I think my uncle is in this chat asking me for a wrinkle. <laughs> Hola, tío, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> um, I started watching um, Hands Ma Handmaid's Tale. Have any of y'all watched that, Handmaid's Tale? Um, everyone kept telling me to watch it, and Wyatt and I are only in the third episode. Te están viendo los abuelos, están... Hola, abuelos, ¿cómo están? My whole family is watching me from Mexico. Les mando muchos besos. Los quiero mucho. Muchas gracias por verme. Los quiero mucho. Um, anyways, Handmaid's Tale. Okay, I like it. It's just a little weird. And there's things that I don't like that they show. It, yeah, it's very dark. But, um... I don't know, I've been kind of getting into watching weird shows like that. I just got into, um, like, um, American Horror Story, and that's a, like, it's so funny, because I don't really even like scary movies, but I just, I just feel like those shows are not scary, but they're kind of weird, and you're kind of intrigued, so I think that, do you like ten, telenovelas, telenovelas? Um, I don't dislike them, I just don't watch any. But you know what I really do like for all my Mexican girls and guys out there? Um, I used to love watching, um, ¿cómo se llama? La Rosa de Guadalupe, right? That's the show, La Rosa de Guadalupe. That was a good show. That was a, like, that would teach you some lessons. Do you watch La Rosa de Guadalupe? Yes, and you know who got me watching that? Mi tía, mi tía Jackie y yo. Antes veíamos ese show. <laughs> How old am I? I am 24, just turned 24. I have no idea what I'm doing. La tocaya Jackie. Hola! Hola, tío, ¿cómo están? Did you watch El Dandy or The Pilot? I have no idea what you're asking me. Do you like Chipotle? I love Chipotle. I love Chipotle, but I don't like it unless it has... I, unless they have the Tabasco Chipotle flavor Tabasco. I just, for some reason, that's the only way I'll eat Chipotle. Like, I mean, I'll eat it, but I will be really, really sad if um, there's no Chipotle Tabasco. Saludos a ti también, tío. Los quiero mucho. Did you watch the Titanic? Of course I watched it. That's one of my favorite movies. No sabía que hablabas español. Well, I do speak Spanish. But I'm going to stop trying to speak so much because I know some of you guys don't speak it. Do you plan on having kids in the future? Yes. I would love to have um, two to three. Probably not more. Favorite Mexican candy? Honestly, anything with chamoy. Oh, I love chamoy. Uh, thank you guys for all your questions. Do you have any pets? I do. I have a really obese cat. He's actually um, Wyatt's cat. Um, funny story. Wyatt was... If you guys don't know why and I went to the same college just at different times because he is older than me he was at a pool party once and he found a little stray kitty and took him home and that's our cat now and he's I mean he's getting old and really fat and honestly I've never had a pet before so this is like my first time having a pet and um, and his name is Tiger and I really want to get another kitty because this cat it plays hard to get a lot and by the way, I'm using perception. Yo también te quiero. And I really want to get a cat that like loves me back. Do you and Wyatt live together? Yes, we actually recently moved in together about six months ago. Hi, Sophia. Hi, baby. Do you guys remember Sophia? If you guys haven't watched my videos, Sophia was in like all my bloopers. She used to be my roommate and now she's like my best friend. So my uncle Max is asking me, ¿Qué necesito para arrugas? He's asking me what I should recommend him for some, some wrinkles. I think moisturizer would probably be good. Yo creo que un poco de cremita en los ojos. I have a dog with PTSD. She's my life. Oh my God, that's so sweet. Dogs are so sweet and loving, but um, I feel like there's so much work, especially for me because I'm out of town a lot. So I, I just could not get a dog 
just because I feel like I wouldn't be able to take care of it the way. Not that I don't take care of our cat. I mean, we take care of him, but I just feel like dogs are more, you know. I love how you're actually answering questions. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I'm sorry that I'm like barely doing my makeup. I just, I would rather like hang out with you guys and do my makeup. Any college advice? Yes, live it up as much as you can, but not in the way that you're being irresponsible. Um, what I mean is join clubs, make friends, because I didn't join very many clubs. I kind of stayed in my own element, and I wish that I would have made more friends in college. Don't get me wrong. I have the bestest friends from college. I just wish that I would have con um, gone out more. So definitely put yourself out there. Go to parties, but don't be stupid because a lot of college students make really bad life-altering mistakes in college and it's not worth it. It's supposed to be a good time and also make good grades. I, in my um, freshman year, I wasn't getting good grades because I all I cared about was like going out and stuff. And then I realized that it's not that hard to make good grades. You just have to try. And I started getting Dean's List every month and um, not every month, every semester. And now I'm proud of the GPA that I graduated with. So, you know, just prioritize what you're doing and know what's important and what's not. So, anyways. Anyways. Thank you, Jenny. Of course I'm answering back to you. This is the whole reason why I'm doing a live because Obviously, I do respond to all your comments, but I feel like this is just cooler. Why are you fat shaming your poor kitty? I'm not fat shaming him. He actually does need to lose weight because he's an unhealthy weight. So I'm not fat shaming him. I just really want to get him in shape, okay? I love that little kitty, okay? I love him. Would you ever come to Canada, Ontario? I would love to. Oh my God, I would love to go to all these places. Why are those antlers on your wall? Um, yes, because, look guys, uh, I don't like them. Um, this is, this was Wyatt's apartment first, so, um, he obviously lived here for a while, and he keeps stuff from, like, his family and stuff like that, so this is, this used to be, like, the storage room, and I turned it into my YouTube room because I needed a place to do my videos, so yeah, you guys don't notice, but, like, that's there. Um, I personally don't hunt. It's just not my thing. I don't have anything against people that do as long as they do it Decently, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I don't think you should hunt just to hunt I think if you're hunting for for food um, You know like that, but yeah, that's that's not mine. Okay <laughs> Yeah, a jackalope which is fake. That's not this is fake guys. This is not a real animal <laughs> Who is the cook in your relationship, you or your fiance? I actually don't have a fiance. He's actually just my boyfriend. I don't know, a lot of people think this is an engagement ring, but it's not. Um, uh, we both cook, actually. I cook more just because he does have a nine to five job right now, so I make him dinner a lot of the times, but he loves cooking and he's good at it. So um, I think that we both equally like to cook, but he, but I cook more just because. Hi, Melanie, how are you? Guys, go to her channel. She also has a channel, puts a lot of work into it, and she's great. She's such a sweetheart. Guys, I really need to do this. Hello, Mighty. Where has your brother been at? Um, my brother actually lives um, around San Marcos area where I did go to college, and he, he is... I don't know what I would call him. Like, he's kind of like an entrepreneur. He does um, investments, real estate. He kind of does it all. So he goes to a lot of conventions and meets a lot of people. So he's always out of town because he's a really hard worker. He's always doing something. So that video of you guys was hilarious. I know, guys, if you guys haven't seen the Bin Boozle challenge with my brother, go watch it. He did me so wrong. Like, so wrong. Would you ever be able to do a tutorial of college makeup? Um, I actually do have that. I have my everyday glam and I also have my s school routine and those haven't changed. So definitely, um, check that out. I'm going to go in with this blue that I've been wanting to play with. Um, ooh, by the way, I am using this palette, the Perception palette. Great palette. I feel like I'm not really paying attention. Girl, what do you have on your nail polish? Um, I don't know, guys. I get acrylic, so I kind of just pick. So I don't have like a name to give you guys. So I'm sorry. 
but it's just like a brown. It's actually really ugly. You guys don't even like realize it, but look, it has like, um, it has like blue. Um, sorry, I keep looking this way. I'm, I need to keep looking this way to the camera. It has like blue sparkles and they're really ugly, but I picked an orange shade thinking it would be cute. And then she did like the first one and I was like, wow, that's disgusting. <laughs> so then I picked something else really quickly and I saw this brown and I thought it'd be pretty, but I didn't realize there was blue glitter in it. So I don't like these nails. Enseña el anillo de compromiso. My uncle's telling me to show my engagement ring. Guys, this is not an engagement ring. No, no, no. <laughs> Um, if you had an opportunity to choose what brand to collaborate with, what would it be? I would love to collaborate it with a lot of different brands, but right now, like I said, I am collaborating with a brand that I love, so I'm pretty happy with that. Coming soon. Coming very soon. I hope you guys love it. I'm so excited. Disney Princess Collection from ColourPop. I haven't seen that yet, honestly. <laughs> Sophia. Honestly, um, there's a lot of collabs coming out that I I don't have enough money for it. I need to like prioritize which collabs that I want. And I really think, don't quote me on this because I'm not sure, but I really think that I am gonna get the Desi and Katie palette. I think that's what I'm gonna get. It will be a splurge, but I think it's gonna be beautiful. I think you can do a lot of looks with that, especially holiday looks. And I wanna review it on my channel. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Check out Trend Mood. I, I will, I do follow Trend Mood. If you guys don't know about Trend Mood, you have to follow them on Instagram. It literally tells you about, of all the releases that are coming out all the time. What do you think of the Kylie collection? I think that it's really sweet of her to do a collection with her best friend. I think that that's like goals. Um, the thing about Kylie Cosmetics is just that I do, like the products that she comes out they look pretty but they're overpriced and i have tried some of her products and they are decent quality but i also find other things that are the same um saludos oh my cousins are watching hola max maxito oh max yo ya, ya eres grande ya eres maxote y emilio como esta los quiero mucho <laughs> i'm supposed to be cleaning right now but i'm hooked on live Thank you. <laughs> have you heard of the Wet n Wild Fire and Ice collection? I have. I actually have the bronzer of it. Um, I have this bronzer. I believe that's from, wait, that's not, yes, it is from the Fire and Ice. It's called You're Dragging Me Down. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. It has a weird texture that it's not as soft. Here, maybe I could use it right now to show you guys. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's not very soft in a way. I don't know. Oh, guys, she's saying not a giraffe. Um, my roommate Sophia said I look like a giraffe, but it's just an inside joke that we have. But anyways, no, 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 the bronzer is not bad. It's not bad, it's just not what I thought it would be. Girl, do a meet and greet in New York. Oh my God, I would love that. Hi, Shirley, how are you, babe? Honestly, I would love, let me tell you guys my plans. Okay, I would love to come out with merch, um, but I feel like I'm not big enough yet for enough people to care. So, and I'm also coming out with a collab soon, which I am so blessed at the fact that I get to collab with somebody. So like right now when I don't have as many subscribers as other people. So I would love to come out with like merch um, next year maybe and um, I feel like that would be really cool because again, like I said, it's just, it's not for me to like make money. It would just be something cool for you guys to have. Like we could have matching hats or ma matching hoodies. Like, I just feel like that'd be cool. Definitely like squad everywhere. Um, I just think that'd be awesome. Maybe like some mugs. So I definitely want to come out with merch. I can't tell you guys who the collaboration is with. Of course I can't, but guys, it's soon. It's very soon. And I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be awesome. Believe it or not, um, I'm not even nervous about it. You, you'd think that I would be nervous because it's the first thing I've ever done like that. But um, I'm just, I feel like, I feel like I trust you guys. Not that you'll buy it, that everyone's gonna buy it, but I just trust that you guys will support me 
even if you don't buy it, I think that you guys will support me and make me feel good about it. And I think you guys are gonna love it. So I just don't even feel nervous about it. I'm just really, really excited. So I'm, I'm so excited. All right, guys, this is really hard. I think the next live, I'm not gonna do my makeup. Are you a BTS fan? Um, I'm not not a fan, but I don't really listen to them. Jen, you're still here? Oh my God, you're seriously the best. Guys, Jen Gerard is here. She's the CEO of Gerard Cosmetics, and she is the nicest person. And just as just like Marlena from uh, Makeup Geek, she like opened her doors for smaller YouTubers to support them. And honestly, buy Lollipop. <laughs> and she's just great. So um, not only do I love Gerard Cosmetics products, but it's just nice supporting people that support other people. You know, it's just. You know, not every brand and not every influencer is money hungry in the way that um, they're just money hungry. You know, some people actually do love what they do and want to make people happy. So, Jen, big fan of yours. Big fan of yours. Do you listen to Spanish music? Um, I don't. Um, not that much, but I love Maluma. Maluma, baby. I love him. Um, so I listen to him a lot. I like, um, I, I even like like reggaeton a little bit, especially when I'm working out like that. That keeps me going when I'm like doing some cardio and it's like the reggaeton comes out. Um, but I don't like listen to a lot of Spanish music. Hi, Jade. Te bote. <laughs> Hi guys, Cardi B or Nikki? I love Nikki, but right now it seems, bye Lauren, bye. Right now it seems that Nikki is being too petty for my taste. Where is Gerard Cosmetics purchased at? Yes, they do have a website, it's just gerardcosmetics.com and they do have a beautiful Instagram, so you should definitely follow them on Instagram. Actually, um, I am gonna do a like a Instagram video using their products and I think I'm also going to incorporate them in my tutorials too. I just haven't had time to do what I wanted to do, but um, definitely check out my Instagram because soon I'm, I'm going to do like a little Insta video trying out a bunch of their products and then if you guys want more details about it, I can definitely do them in my videos as well. Oh, and I guess they also sell in Urban Outfitters and Gabrielle the Riley Rose. Fancy. So yeah. Great brand. If you guys have any questions about products, just DM me and I'll tell you how I feel about them. Would you do a meet and greet in California? Oh my God, I would do a meet and greet anywhere. I just, I just feel like who would come, you know? <laughs> Honestly, one day I would love to do a meet and greet and I would love for it to be chill. Like, not like, I mean, it'd be cool to do it with a brand and stuff like that, but, um, for right now, since I'm so small, it would be cool just to meet up somewhere if a lot of us are in one place and just hang out, take some pics, and just chill. That would be really cool. Um, maybe next year. Maybe next year. That would be cool. If um, I just, it's not that I want more subscribers, but with more subscribers, more people would come. Hi, Kimberly. Of course, I'm noticing you. It, that would be awesome. Come to Chicago. I would love to go to Chicago. That sounds like a really fun time. I would love to meet you and go take a bite or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. How cool would it be to go um, to hang out and, like, go to dinner? Because I love dinner. Dinner, I love going out to eat. But right now, I'm on a strict meal plan, so that's why we can't do the meet and greet right now because <laughs> I'm eating portion sizes. Thank you, Kimberly, so much. Hang out with a follower. Yes, that would be so cool. Maybe, um, obviously right now, since I do live in Texas, maybe like hang out with a follower from Texas. That would be really fun. Um, sorry, I can't talk while I do my eyeliner. I wanna meet you so bad. Thank you, Erica. I'm in Fort Hood, Texas. Oh my God, Melanie. Melanie, guess what? I used to date a guy who worked in Fort Hood. We probably passed each other and we wouldn't and we didn't even know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Texas, I'd love to meet you. My sister goes to San Marcos. I love San Marcos. I even have friends still that are in San Marcos. 
So sometimes on my story, um, I put like on my story on Instagram, I put um, I I put what city I'm in. So if I'm ever in a city that you are in, I mean, let me know. Obviously, it's really hard to like meet up and like if if we're both doing something. But if we're in the same area, I could be like, hey, I'm going to be at this shopping mall at this time. Let's meet. That would be awesome. I would love to meet you guys. I've actually haven't met a subscriber ever before. So that would be amazing. I'm in Houston, H-Town. Represent. Ah! Come to California. Girls night out. Oh my god, you have an 11 month old. Oh, that's so cute. I love babies. I can't wait to have one, but like I can wait. You know what I mean? I'm gonna wait as long as possible. <laughs> I would love to meet you. Thank you so much, Karina. Let me do this while I read comments. How many? I would love to have at least two kids. I would love to have a boy and a girl. And if for some reason I get two boys or two girl, I would try again um, to have one more. Besides lashes, what products does your collab consist of? Um, there's one more. So you guys know that there's lashes and um, lips, lip products so far. There's one, there's one more product that I don't want to say just because I want to keep the, um, I want to keep the surprise. You know what I mean? I feel like I've already said way too much about it, but I think it's cool to like hype it up and get you guys excited. So that way you guys like know that it's coming. I think that that way you guys can like get excited with me. Mission Texas here. Hey, honestly, it's so crazy. Texas is so big that like we could be together in Texas, but like it's Texas, which means it's really far away. Um, I'm quickly going to use roller lash mascara. Uh, I've been trying to find my favorite mascara because obviously I just got my extensions off. Where can we DM you? Um, Instagram. You can DM me on Instagram. I honestly, I always reply to you guys. If you could choose one makeup product for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mascara. I think mascara makes you look alive. Honestly, I could just have like a little sunburn and have lashes on and that's all I need. Where do you live? I live in Houston, Texas. I can't tell you my address though. Lash Paradise Best Mascara. Okay. Okay. I need to try that. Um, what if we have social media? How would we DM you? Um, then just comment. Comment on my Instagram. I love how the CEO of Gerard Cosmetics is casually here. I know. I know. Right? She's the best. I know. She's too cool. Too cool for me, but she's still here. Love her. Um, but yeah, you guys can just comment. Um, just comment on my videos. This is Roller Lash. Just comment on my videos and I always reply to all my comments. So if you have any questions for me, that is where you can reach me. Where is Gerard Cosmetics sold? As she just said, it's sold at, I believe, Riley Rose, Urban Outfitters and GerardCosmetics.com. Why did you take your eyelashes extensions off? If you go back to the beginning of the live, I explained that um, since I am coming out with a collaboration and it includes lashes, I needed to take them off so that I could actually, you know, create the lashes that I wanted. And, um, and of course, I also, um, I can ask yes, I also just didn't want to have lashes forever because it did take a little bit longer to have my lashes grow back. As much as I love them, I also felt a little guilty because I felt like being a YouTuber, I should also be reviewing lashes. So it was just a bunch of stuff. Thank you, Mackenzie. My uncle is so cute. Max, ya te dijeron que estás muy tierno. Ya cálmate. <laughs> I love makeup I don't have because of the money. I know, girl. Honestly, when I started my YouTube channel, I um I didn't have a lot of money, which I, I still don't. I mean, I was a waitress, and I didn't have a good makeup collection. But you know what? You just have to try to do like make do with what you have get products that work with everything and i did get some comments at the beginning of my journey of people saying like hey could you use different products like you keep using the same products but you have to just make it work with what you have you know that's just what you have to do 
And I did, and obviously I'm really lucky that a lot of brands do send me makeup now, and that way I can bring more content to you guys. Because for me, I have enough makeup. I don't need more makeup, but I love getting makeup sent to me because that way I can review it for you guys and have more content. Hi, Ali Boo, how are you? <laughs> I will share my collection of makeup. Oh, Tracy, Tracy's the nicest. ¿Qué me recomiendas para las pestañas? <laughs> Este rime, tío. Este. Hi, Kaylee. How are you? It would be so dope to see you swatch Gerard Cosmetics because we have the same skin tone. Um, if you guys want, I can put on a Gerard. Actually, I could put on a Gerard Cosmetics highlight right now, now that I think about it. Okay, let's do it. So, we have this right here. This is a little highlighter palette, and it has the shade Lucy, Marilyn, and Grace. And I really like these two shades. So, obviously, I already put highlight here on this side, but I'm also going to put some on this side. Look at it. Look at this highlight. This is, again, Gerard Cosmetics. This is the shade Marilyn. Look at that. Like, oh, my God. So, yes. Um, I need to blend this out because this is extremely blinding but it's beautiful and I obviously went in with a hard hand but you could go in with a lighter hand and now I'm gonna take that again and put it on my nose I know this highlight though I know guys I, I have so many products that I want to show you guys from Gerard Cosmetics but again I didn't want to push it because I don't want you guys to think that I'm trying to sell you things but really just trust me guys these products are amazing and I would love to do more in-depth reviews of them so, Gerard Cosmetics, and then the other highlight was Master Chrome. So, what kind of lip do you guys want? Do you guys, I do have some more Gerard Cosmetics, or I have other stuff. You guys tell me. Why don't you guys tell me what to do? Um, what kind? Hi, Ali Boo. Shout out to you. <laughs> what lip should I do? Bold? Okay. Advice on how to grow your channel. <sighs> Consistency, um, honestly, hi Alicia, love you too. I really think, bust out the Gerard Cosmetics. Let me bust them out and show you guys the shades that I have and then we'll just pick together. So obviously I have 1995, which is my fave. I also have everything nice. Let me see what I have. So let me show you guys what I have and then answer Melanie's question. I think the main thing is to interact with your followers. I. I don't only reply to you guys because to get more followers. I reply to you guys because I genuinely care about you guys. And the fact that you're taking the time to comment on my videos, of course I'm going to reply to you guys. This is um, Buttercup. I actually used this in a video that I filmed today that will be up this week. But let me see. Ooh, this is really pretty. This is Berry Smoothie. I think this is winning. Um, I also have liquid lipsticks, but... I don't know what you guys want. Guys, wait till you see this. They have glitter, glitter lipsticks, but I think it's too much for right now. They also have this one. Um, I might go with Berry Smoothie. Let's see. What else do I have? Or a deep, bold lip. Okay, all right. Let me go into my drawer here and get a bold lip. I wanna like keep looking at your questions. Use berry smoothie. How about, what did I use? Hmm, <laughs> I'm nervous. Let's see. Maybe if I like find a, um, a lip liner that's dark and then use berry smoothie in the middle. Yes, thank you, Jen. Yes, just be consistent, honestly. Um, at the end of the day, what truly matters is I think that even when I get down about not having like a lot of subscribers, I always think about the fact that I have quality subscribers and I would rather have quality over quantity because um, I love you guys so much and I think that you guys are so great. So I would keep you guys over a number 
of a lot of subscribers that don't matter that I don't get to talk to all the time don't get me wrong I would love to have more everybody would love to but I just love the subscribers that I have and I think you guys are great so I am very grateful and I have no complaints so let's go in with this lip liner this is um what this is Rimmel Rimmel in the shade wine I wish I had wine right now but I'm on a meal plan and there's no alcohol included unfortunately so that would have been more fun if we were drinking wine together honestly I made a coffee and I never drank it because I got really hot because I got nervous <laughs> just be like VNA she acknowledges all of us thank you wine is a fruit girl believe it or not I can only have fruit once a day and I don't know if I should have wine at 11 a.m. Sorry, I can't talk and do this. I look crazy. <laughs> okay. All right, we're using Berry Smoothie. Again, Gerard Cosmetics Bullet Lipstick. That's really pretty. This is in Berry Smoothie. I like this. How long did I attend school? I went to, hi Melinda. Guys, Melinda has a YouTube channel and an awesome Instagram and I really like her. You guys should go check her out, okay? Okay, that's really pretty. Except the fact that I lined my lips horribly. Horribly. Let me fix that. What's the weather like in Texas right now? It's in the 90s, girl. It's in the 90s and it's horrible. Bye, Gabriella. Thank you for watching. That looks smooth and buttery. Yeah, it really was. How was your day? My day was kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Because, by the way, this is really creamy. Mmm, I like it. Um, honestly, it was crazy because I filmed a video that was kind of hard to film. It's nothing like I've done before. And um, I'm gonna post it this week. I really hope you guys like it. It's definitely um, something more creative than I've done. It's a lot of color. And um, I just hope you guys enjoy it. But it took me a long time to film it. Okay, I don't like the way my makeup looks, but I would rather say like talk to you guys. So I hope you guys don't mind if I like stop doing my makeup. And if you guys want to see any other products, though, I'll put them on my face and show you guys. What's my favorite kind of ice cream? Um, I really like pecan, butternut pecan. Oh, I already forgot. Bye, Paige. Um, if you guys are looking for an ice cream that's really healthy and really delicious is um, Halo Top. Um, they sell that. I don't know where. They sell it at HEB. I think it's only in Texas, though. But they sell a Halo Top everywhere. I love pizza, by the way. And it's from like 250 to 350 calories for the whole pint. And it doesn't have that much sugar either. And it's good and it's like a protein ice cream. So I don't feel guilty for eating the whole pint at all. Do you watch James Charles? I do watch him. I think he's very creative. I don't like watching too many videos that are really, really long. So I don't watch all his videos. But um, you guys like Barry Smoothie? But I do like him. I think that he's changing the game on YouTube. I think he's just really creative and I have to tip my hat to him. Um, I also love mint chocolate chip. Guys, I'm on a freaking meal plan. Why are we talking about ice cream and pizza? Like, I still have to go meal prep after this. Um, pupusas, I don't know what that is. Um, is there someone who influences you? What made you start this channel? Honestly, if you really wanna know detail, Go to my um, get to know me video. It's one of my first videos ever and I kind of went into detail on how or like why I started it. I just don't want to, I don't want to bore you guys right now, but definitely go watch that video if you're interested. What meal plan are you on? I'm on a meal plan that, um, bye Gracie, have a good night. Um, I'm on a meal plan that I don't have a personal trainer, but I do have a really dear friend of mine who owns a gym and he personal trains and he 
is um, he did a meal plan for me and my boyfriend and a workout plan for three months. So that's what I'm doing right now. He Again, he doesn't train me. He just tells me what to, like, I have it written down, like, what to do at the gym and also what to eat. And, guys, I'm literally weighing my food. Like, what? Like, I have a scale and I weigh my food. I never thought I would do that. But, honestly, I've this is... This is just the most that I've ever gained. What? This is the most that I've ever weighed in my life. And um, I don't I don't think I'm fat. I don't hate myself. I just, I'm just not healthy the way that I used to be. So unfortunately, I just really wanna get in shape. And um, I wanna take you guys along with me. And I wanna, once I move into my house next month, I wanna show you guys how I meal prep. I wanna show you guys what I eat. And I hope that it helps you guys out as well because i think we all need the motivation you know relationship wait it's the worst it's so bad but you know what um my uh my boyfriend and i are both in it so we keep each other motivated because if it was just me it probably sorry <clears throat> it would be really really hard so um it's really easy to to do it when somebody else that you live with is doing it too Woo, why am I wearing a sweater? I'm sweating. Well, sweating, sweater, should have known, I should have known. Do you have pets? Yes, as I mentioned earlier, I do have a kitty. Your lips look great, thank you so much. Um, I really lined them horribly because I was trying to answer questions at the same time, so I really appreciate it. Again, I'm wearing Berry Smoothie. We're on the same boat, I'm trying so hard to eat healthy. You know what? Watching pupusas Central American food. I will try some pupusas, okay? Um, I was gonna say sometimes what motivates me is watching videos about fitness. Um, I feel like I feel like it's you get more motivation when you feed off of people's motivation. But let me tell you guys the secret. Let me tell you the secret. It's not motivation that you need. It's well, obviously you do need motivation, but it's discipline. Because discipline will always come no matter if you're motivated or not. Motivation is just cherry on top. What you need is discipline. So just remember, you got to be disciplined. And that's the hardest thing. You know, it's really hard to discipline yourself to do something that you don't want to do. But just remember that it takes 21 days to build a habit. So after doing that, it, you will start to like it. And once it becomes a lifestyle, it becomes a lifestyle. It just becomes a part of your life. So then you don't have to think about the fact, oh, I have to go to the gym today. Then it just becomes part of your routine and you, believe it or not, you end up enjoying it. So your eyebrows are on point still. Thank you. I got them microbladed. I need someone to feed me. <laughs> That's another thing. I think another thing about dieting is that like, <laughs> bye, Sophia. I love you. I think that when it comes to dieting, um, the hardest thing is the food, make, making food. So that's why Wyatt and I, we meal prep for the whole week. So we make a bunch, a bunch of meals and we put them in the freezer and we just eat them when it's time to eat. And that way you have no excuse. Like you have a perfectly balanced meal in the freezer, heat it up and eat it. You don't have to go, you know, eat something else or go to Chick-fil-A and get a salad. So. I will definitely, sorry, I'm getting real hot. I definitely wanted to um, do a video and showing you guys how I meal prep. Being Hispanic, <laughs> there's so much delicious food. I know, every time I go to Mexico, I can't be on a diet. I am so glad I don't live in Mexico because that would be like off the wall because the food is so, so good. Um, Talking, thank you so much, Erica. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Aww. Karina, Las Flautas, oh my God. Just Mexican food in general. Talk about your favorite makeup products. Okay, so maybe I should stop talking about food. Um, my favorite makeup products at the moment, I feel like I'm pretty, um, you know what? It's getting hot in here, so let me use one of my favorite makeup products right now. Morphe Setting Spray. It's a continuous mist and it's very, very light. And I really needed to refresh myself. Um, I really, like I said, I've been loving Gerard Cosmetics just because I recently, I've always liked their lip, liquid lipstick formula, but I've recently discovered like the rest of their products. So I've been loving them. I'll go more in debt, in debt, in depth with it um, in some videos coming up. 
And let's see, what else have I been loving? I've been loving the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes, which I know are really expensive, but um, I will go get some pupusas, yes. But um, I really have been loving those face brushes. I do have a video on that, so I think um, if you guys are interested. Something I don't like, let's talk about something that I don't like. I recently tried this um, little sponge from Real Techniques, and this is a sponge wet. I feel like this is really small. Um, how do you feel about people coming after Ariana Grande? Um, honestly, I don't really want to talk about that just because, um, you know, it's about someone passing away. And I think that that's very personal. And I think that I, I uh, like just to quickly touch on it, I, ve I feel really bad for Ariana Grande. But you also have to think about his family. I feel like his family is probably going through more. But I just find it so bad that people are going after her because I think one of the scariest things as a girl or a guy, I think that being in a toxic relationship um especially when someone is self-harming i think that's probably one of the scariest things to do because um you yourself are not happy and your your happiness should be the most important but also um leaving someone thinking that they're gonna hurt themselves like that has to be so scary but at the end of the day you have to choose yourself over somebody else and it's so sad that you know ariana grande moved on from that and then he passed away but you know what some people that's like everyone has their life the way it's supposed to be and that's just what happens and it's just depressing and let's just not even talk about it anymore but i do feel really bad for her i don't think anyone should be coming after her for something that she didn't do you know what i mean hi i'm a new sub hi yolanda thank you so much for being a part of my channel can you recommend a good bronzing brush my favorite right now is this one this is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collection, and this is the JH02. If you want something similar in shape, I like this one. This is from Real Techniques, except this one is synthetic, so it doesn't pick up as much product as this one would. And let me see, is there anything else that I like? Mm. These are definitely my two favorites right now, but I use, I use this all the time. All the time. Did you buy the whole brush collection? I did. I splurged. To be honest, there's a Morphe store at the Galleria in Houston. Yes, I'm doing Vlogmas. Um, and I went and I got it mainly because, long story short, I was short on brushes because... They got stolen. Um, if you want to know what happened there, just go to my video that says story time. Um, I got robbed. And um, so I really wanted them. And honestly, they were $165, but for 24 brushes. So if you do the math, they weren't that expensive. And it also comes with a really nice case. I, I do think it's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a lot of money. But I think if you want 24 brushes and you want those exact ones, um, instead of buying them separately, you do save a lot of money buying them together. If you guys are interested in my specific uh, opinion and you want to see them in action, I do have to. Um, I do have a video, and it's called like the Jaclyn Hill Master Collection, and I have like a whole video on it. And it actually blew up a little bit. I have like sixty thousand views on it. So thanks, guys. How are you? I'm great. I'm doing great. I love this. I think we should do lives more often. This is awesome. I, I think, I really hope that you guys are enjoying it. I just like talking to you guys. I think that this is um, a lot more personal and that way it's not just me talking and talking and talking. It's nice to talk to you guys and you guys actually respond to me. That's really cool. Thank you, Tracy, I know, but you know what? I'm over it. We gotta move on and I'm, I'm keeping it positive. Yes, you're loving it. Awesome. Have you ever worn an unused plastic garbage bag as clothing? Um, no, but I'm not against it. <laughs> Please come back and do more. You're so positive. Thank you. Okay, so honestly, this was kind of hard um, to do my makeup, and I hate the way my makeup looks. Um, so I would definitely like to do more lives just talking to you guys and maybe talking about makeup, but I think actually do my makeup it's hard in the way that um, I just want to answer all your questions so I can't even concentrate on my makeup. Let me know if that makes sense. I should do more lifestyle videos. 
Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jacqueline. I will. Um, I'm just really excited to get into my new house because now I can actually, I actually will have a house that I can decorate and, you know, because right now I moved into Wyatt's apartment. So, you know, I, I can't really do much here. But in our house, it's going to be our home. And I want to do videos about decorating. I want to do morning routines. Uh, like I said, house tour. I can't wait to do Vlogmas. Oh, my God. I haven't had a Christmas tree in years. You have to do an empty house tour. I will. I will because um, thank you. It's C. It's C. Um, I'm, I will do an empty house tour because it will take a while because obviously it's really expensive that, um, to like put furniture. So I will do an empty house tour so that you guys do get to see the house. And then maybe later, once it's done, I'll do another tour. But I definitely want to do like a beauty room tour once, um, that's done. That will be, I'm so excited. And I am, I'm so excited that you guys get to do this with me. Like, I feel like I'm bringing you guys along with me into, you know, my life. And when things like this happen, um, it's really cool. Like the fact that you guys get to do it with me and, um, get to help me out, help me decorate. I definitely want to know like what you guys think. If you follow me on Instagram, sometimes I ask you guys like, what should I get on my stories? So that's really cool. Um, what's your favorite Netflix show series at the moment? Um, right now, like I said, I'm watching Handmaid's Tale and I'm still kind of getting into it, but we have been watching like an episode every night and I love reality shows. So any reality show that's on, I'm probably watching. Favorite place to shop? Um, shop for what? Let me know specifically like makeup or clothes or food. I'll tell you about my favorite grocery store. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. Hello, Life of Jen. Hi, guys. What's your decor style? Um, I definitely thank you, Vinay, for this live. My pleasure, Emmanuel. Thanks so much for being here. Um, I think my style is um, clean lines, white, gray, like the basic girl on YouTube. <laughs> um, I really like, like, my house is going to have dark floors and, like, a white kitchen. I like things to be really um, modern but not too, too modern where it's not comfy. So I like something that's comfy modern. My favorite color is black. I love wearing black. It's really hard for me to wear color actually because black is great. I love how my makeup looks. Thank you. I, thank you. Your ma I think it's all the studio lights that's making me look good because I don't think I look very good in real, real life. Is there any new holiday makeup releases you're excited about? Um, ho like holiday releases, maybe, um, like the gingerbread, I believe it's the gingerbread palette. That looks really pretty, but I don't know. I've never owned a Too Faced palette, believe it or not, because I hear so many mixed reviews about the formulas. So I would definitely have to go like in and swatch it in store before I decide to buy it. But the color scheme looks beautiful. So that would be awesome. Yes, I love it. I want it. Yeah, it looks really pretty for sure. I mean, it's warm tones, but it's great. How do you celebrate Christmas? I celebrate with my family in Mexico. Um, I Like I said, I was born in Mexico, so all my family's there. So I like going. We go every Christmas, and it's really the only time, usually, that I get to see my whole family all at once. Um, the, yeah, we celebrate on the 24th and we party till the 25th. It's awesome. I love it. Thank you so much for coming, Jen. Honestly, thank you so much for staying for so long. Thank you so much. And I will see you in your life tomorrow. Bye, girl. Guys, she's the sweetest. Jen Gerard is the nicest CO, honestly. But anyways. Anyways, guys, we've been on this life for a while now. What will you be for Halloween? I don't know. Why don't you guys um, give me some ideas? Give me, guys, what should Wyatt and I do for Halloween? What should we dress up as? Um, I'm from Mexico City, by the way. Bye, Emmanuel. So what are some good cop, like couple costumes? Um, this is really funny, but like two years ago, I was a snake and he was a snake charmer. And we were at the club and Wyatt had like a little flute and he was dancing, it was really funny. Dressed like the Purge. I can't because one of my best friends did that already and I think she's gonna be with me for Halloween. So she already did it and she did it great. 
ballerina zombie that's actually really cool i think we're gonna go to a club this year again which i just like i said i don't club all the time but for like special occasions i love just dancing so um going to the club on halloween is really fun because everyone it's like a club with people in costumes like it's great it's like every you know halloween movie you've ever seen i don't know if that even makes sense but i really want to do like a really cool Kronk and Isma from Ember's New Group. Oh, and Manuel, you're still here. Well, if you're still here, then you need to help me pick out a Halloween costume because I have no idea what to do. And maybe if I think of something cool, maybe I could do a tutorial on it. Can you talk about your new lashes? No, I can't because it's coming soon. It's a secret. Me and my boyfriend were Power Rangers. That's cool. Chucky and his girl. Oh my god, Chucky and his girl. That would be cool. I could totally do like Chucky and the Bride. I could totally do that. That would be kind of fun. I'm gonna keep that in the back of my mind. And if I do end up doing that, just know that you gave me the idea. It's actually a good idea. Hmm. I was hoping you'd help me out. No. Why are you I'm not ignoring you, Max Power. I promise. I'm reading all the comments. My family's thinking of doing Family Guy. Oh, that's cool. I don't really watch Family Guy. I don't dislike it, I just don't watch it, but I know all the characters. I would love to see how that comes out. Harley and Joker, I would do that, but everyone already did it. I don't want to be something that everyone already did, but it's really hard to think of something that um, you haven't done yet. So, Or something that people haven't done recently. I don't watch The Simpsons. I don't really watch much TV. I just watch like specific shows, honestly. Y'all should be Rachel and Ross. That would be cute, but I feel like it'd be really hard to do that with people actually knowing what we are. You know what I mean? Maybe if White has like a little monkey, am I tired of sitting? It kind of, to be honest, I'm on a stool that's like a plastic stool and my legs are sweating. Was that too much? Am I being too honest here? I'm sorry. Little Salt and Pepper, Little Red Riding Hood, and he be the bad wolf. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. I'm also going to keep that in the back of my head. Fred and Wilma Flintstone. That's cute. Damn, you guys have a lot of ideas at the top of your head. Suicide Squad couple costumes. Okay, how do you... Um... I don't know if I'm doing Halloween looks yet. I've only done one on my channel and it was a skull and um, it went fine, but it was my first time literally ever doing a skull. So um, I wasn't that proud of it. Honestly, I'm not very good at um, more like creative things. I don't know. I just don't think I'm, uh, there's just so much talent out there that I feel like my video wouldn't be as good. It would be pretty average. So I just don't want to give you guys like bad content. So, so anyways, let me know if you guys have any last minute questions because I think I'm going to cut this live soon just because I know it's getting late, especially for people that have like different time zones. But it was so nice to do this live with you guys. Thank you so much, Shirley. Hi, Max Power. Um, it was so much fun doing this. Um, and I think we should do it more often. I really do think it'd be better to do it just sitting down and talking to you guys. Hi, Priscilla. Um, yes, I agree, Melanie. But so yeah, I would love to talk about makeup, but maybe not do my makeup just because I would rather, like I said, talk to you guys instead of um, doing that. When will my next live be? Um, I don't know yet just because I want to make sure that if I do announce it that I for sure can do it. So the way I do announce it is I put it on my community tab on my YouTube channel and I also put it on my Twitter and I also put it on my Instagram story. So I will let you guys know next time and again I will do a poll to see who can come and who can't. But since today was a weekday, Maybe my next live I could do on a weekend morning because I know some of you guys wanted that. Or I don't know, would you guys rather do um, weekday evening like this, like after work when everyone gets home? Or would you like to do it um, in the weekend mornings, like at 11? Tell me you guys what you guys think would be easier for you guys because I will just accommodate to you guys. So 
I could um, do another poll on my community tab. So Karina's saying yes, like 5 to 6 p.m. Anything's fine. Uh, thank you so much, Erica. Uh, what primer foundation would you recommend for sensitive skin full coverage? Lancome Tint Idol. Thank you so much, Shirley. You're so sweet. Yolanda, uh, weekend mornings because I have class and work. I like afternoons, but earlier. I try to do, um, yeah, I know, Karina, I know. Um, anyways, um, I try to do at seven because I feel like with the time difference, then that way it could be um, five, six, seven, eight, or nine for people. So I try to pick a middle time so that maybe everyone could be here after work because I know you guys work and go to school. Trust me, I know. So anyways, I really love you guys so, so much. Watch out for uh, my video coming up this week. It's really cool. It's really interesting. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. It's me more being creative, which again, I'm not as comfortable with, but just doing it for the tube. Anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for coming. I will see you guys in my next live. You're making my workshop go by fast. Thank you, Emmanuel. Bye, guys. I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Have a good night. Sleep with positive thoughts. And just remember, you're going to have a great day tomorrow. You're going to have a great day. Uh, as long as you believe it, okay? So go to sleep with good energy tonight, and I hope you guys have an awesome week, okay? I love you guys.